you won't like me when I'm angry. Actually, I don't get angry too much. I'm a pretty calm person, so um, even when I'm angry, I'm still pretty calm. <laughs> The next film that sets up the Avengers is The Incredible Hulk and that was released in 2008 and stars Edward Norton as Bruce Banner, The Incredible Hulk. This film has no tie-in with the 2003 piece of crap Hulk directed by Ang Lee. This is a new film in its entirety and doesn't really set up the Hulk character. You know, they jump right into um, what he's been doing. The, t the opening sequence is about, you know, the mistakes with uh, the gamma radiation and him becoming the Hulk and the rest of the film is him on the run which makes this film actually pretty good I really like the Incredible Hulk uh, for what it is it's not a really great great movie but I really like the fact that they focus a lot on the humane side of Bruce Banner and him trying to correct the wrong that he did with uh, becoming the Hulk and you know accepting the fact to you know just calming himself down in Rio and him trying to find a cure for it. I think the Hulk is a complicated character to work with because we want to see the Hulk, we want to see him just beating things up and being awesome, this big green monster, but we also want to see this really nice side of Bruce Banner who's actually a very interesting character in my opinion. So there's this fine line of where should it be and I think um, the Incredible Hulk did have this good balance of um, great moments with Bruce Banner understanding who he is and trying to make this cure and accepting the fact that he has done some wrong things with the Incredible Hulk but also we get to see some really great action scenes between the Incredible Hulk and the Abomination who is the villain in here played by Tim Roth who I thought did a really great job so those fighting scenes at the end are really well done they look intense they're fun to watch and just two big monsters just clashing at each other was a really great scene for this movie. I did think that the direction was handled really well with having this good balance between Bruce Banner and the Hulk. Not having too much of the Hulk, um, but just at the right moments and developing this good character of Bruce Banner. The film did feel a bit sluggish at time um, between the middle scenes of the movie but overall I thought it had really great character and some good action scenes so I'm gonna go ahead and give The Incredible Hulk a B. So this is Just Watch Movies with his review of The Incredible Hulk which stars Edward Norton. I guess the only time that he'll ever play The Incredible Hulk I thought he did a really good job and it went to Mark Ruffalo now who also is a great Hulk character. So give this video a thumbs up and stick around for more Marvel uh, reviews coming to you soon and also Blu-ray unboxings. This is Just Watch Movies and I'll see you guys later. Bye.